killed him. And you went desperately close to getting two bonus points to 14 men. How do you think it went fair to have um, yeah, well, we won now. Um, obviously, it's a difficult to, to speculate that what we would have done if we were 15. Um, at the moment, you know, obviously, we disappointed that we um, couldn't get uh, closer to them. But uh, then again, the biggest positive for me is the fact that uh, the players showed a lot of character and a lot of fight to stay in the contest because it could have easily, you know, gone out of spiral and, and we could have taken 50, 60 points. Um, but the players were, were uh, you know, just tremendous, uh, f showing fight, and we looked fit and strong in that last 20 minutes. Did you feel it was a bit fair to call a red card from Dennis Cipriani? I'm not going to get involved in the debate about red cards. I, I, before the season started, I, I gave a full out statement to the media back at Gloucester about my opinion about red cards. So I'm not going to get involved. If it's, my view is simple. It's uh, spoiling the game if there's no intent. I'm not going to get involved. We can't, it's not going to change the result. And what did the referee say at the time of the pitch? He said he felt the shoulder contact to the head. For him, that's enough to give a red card. Do you agree with him? Uh, he's the referee, mate. I, whether I agree with it or not doesn't matter. As, as a player in a game which has had these issues with concussion, I mean, do you, do you understand that it's the head issue, not the intent? Yeah, yeah, I understand. I, I know player welfare is thrown out there a lot. Um, so, you know, there's there's a few few high shots during the game, you know, what I'm trying to work out what makes that one a lot more serious than some of the others. But um, I understand there's a player welfare issue. That is the issue on the day as well, consistency. There are probably uh, five, five head shots on either side. Yeah. So is that is, is that the real worry for players in the game, the consistency in the application? But it's just you know working out what what um, and we talk about intent, you know, where, whether whether there's some intent, you know, does that change how how the high shot looks? But you know that's probably not my area of expertise. a lot to say but I'm not going to say it. It's not going to change anything. How was, how was Danny after? Uh, no, he's disappointed. He's disappointed. He, if, they can, if they come and watch how he trains, that's how he protects himself. It's a, it's a normal habit for me. He wasn't even wanted to tackle the guy. He wanted to just get out of it. Yeah, it's, done. it's done and dusted. If the, if the supporters pay to come and watch 14 v 15, that's great. That's the way, great way for Rappi forward. And that's the thing, isn't it? It's better than Danny Sibiani, that the game should be protected more. And the law is probably there to protect Danny Sibiani. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the law protects the player. That's, that's true, you know. It's just... You know, sometimes there's stuff like... That's why we call it accident. If you start eat your car, it's an accident. You, you don't plan for it. You know, so get on the plane. Maybe it's going to fall. I don't know. Maybe not. So some back rowers make 25 tackles in a game. They get one wrong, and now they say he's got a bad technique. But what about the other 24 that he did great tackle? Uh, we, uh, we can debate this over and over and over. The biggest thing that I say is, do we constantly want to see 14 play 15? Uh, I'm be proud. I'm you just proud of the boys, the way they performed tonight. You saw at the end, Cipriani went a couple of the most players and tapped the and I don't know, was there like, an apology there, but was he checking whether Scannell was okay? Did he mention the wrestling the end of the game or that, or? What's the guy injured? Yeah, like, I just oh. seen at the end, Cipriani took a chance. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, Danny's got no, you know, intent. Yeah, he's, 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 there's no, you know. Uh, none, none of the high tackles, I think, today was there to hurt anybody. You know, it's not like, it's not like what 
Mastro did a few weeks ago on the floor with a player hitting him from behind. Obviously, we all know the game, so there's no doubt that's a red card. But surely, if you if, if, if there's a lot of factors involved in, in every tackle, and to get every tackle spot on, it's going to be quite difficult. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's one of those things we, we can talk a lot about. But at the end of the day, Munster were good. They deserved the win. They had quality side, well coached. It, uh, you know, they, they've got quality players. And we've, we've, we probably should have done better in that first 10, 15 minutes when we had a lot of possession. So. It wasn't just the uh, that was it? We had lots of content with injuries, crazy about me, um, all down beforehand. Um, well, it was a tough old day for us at the office. I mean, uh, we we got the, 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 the obviously, you know, one or two things on the decisions uh, against us. Um, there was a lineup close to the try line. We were four in the lineup, they were five. So, you know, the IOS obviously didn't see it, the ref didn't see it, and uh, then they stole the ball. But so there's a lot of things we, we all look onto the red card, but there's a lot of other things that was missed as well, both sides. Um, and then obviously we had to deal with Fraser not feeling well, so we didn't play him. That's, that's, that's credit to the front rowers who fight through the whole 80 minutes. And um, then we had obviously Tom Marshall getting injured, and, and it was just a tough day. But you look at how the guys ended the game, you know, it was. It was uh, a fight till the end for the for our players. They never gave up, and, and to me, that you can't coach that. That is just a great character to have in a team. And Johan, it might also be a you know decide in the mall as well early on, the first ten minutes. You, you might look at during the week when you had the mall in the first ten minutes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The first, yeah. yeah. On the far um, side in the corner, yeah. Where, where do you see the group now? Castro. Uh, Next year, actually, the point. Yeah, the, it's a tough group, you know. We always knew it once we saw the draw. It, and and it, give me one game that is easy if you play in the Heineken Cup. You know, there's no one easy game. Doesn't matter what pool you are. So we always knew that Munster is going to be tough. Exeter uh, is 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 a you know up there. They've been playing in in finals the last few seasons. Um, and then you know, Castro is not the champions for nothing. They're a quality side. We. It, we just have to regroup in the sense that we've got a short little break now where we can rest a few players and then we back in it and, and start with the premiership and we'll we'll cross that hurdle once we get to Exeter, you know, but it's still open. It's still open if we've got any desire to, to, to be competitive, it's still open. It's, we, know, we, we don't have to feel that we've lost and, and it's the end of the world. There's still a lot of rugby to, to play for and a lot of, a lot of games ahead to, to pick up points. But the one thing we know, it's not going to be easy because we're playing good sides, and um, and we must just be better. Our discipline must be better. Our preparation, our detail, everything we've we've missed a, a lot of small little things in the game. And um, but like I said, the biggest thing is we could have probably lo lost a bit of belief as well when Danny went off and got a decent hiding. The boys never. Never, um, you know, lost that belief. They kept on fighting, and um, and I'm proud of that.